Hey there folks, Graham here and welcome to the channel. Once again, we're diving down the MIDI rabbit hole, this time to look at MIDI through, in particular, what is known as soft through. I've helped many people with my previous videos on MIDI, and hopefully this one will be of similar benefit to you and maybe solve that problem you've been looking for an answer to. If you do have any questions though, on this or any of my other content, then please post them in the comments and I will get back to everyone to see if I can help. Now, most synths will have a MIDI in and a MIDI out port, but not all of them will have a MIDI through port. But before you go running out to buy a MIDI through box, check whether your machine has soft through available, as many of them do. So just to recap on MIDI ports, the in port receives data into the synth, effectively giving that synth some instructions on what it needs to do. And the out port sends the data out of the synth, basically sending instructions off to somewhere else. The through port receives an identical copy of what is received at the in port and passes that on to another synth. But if you don't have a through port, as mentioned earlier, you may have a soft through available. Here, the in port acts as normal, but the out port acts as an out and a through at the same time. So it can send out its own signal, but it can also take the signal received at the input and send that out simultaneously. If you want a more detailed breakdown on MIDI out versus MIDI through, I've left a link down below to a previous video I did that may help further or clarify your understanding. But why have many modern synths changed to a soft through rather than a dedicated through port? One of the reasons is because nowadays many people incorporate a computer into their setup with all their synths attached to it via USB. And from there, using a door like Cubase or Logic Pro, you can do all the MIDI routing in there and effectively do away with the old fashioned MIDI cables. Although this does mean that your computer always needs to be on for everything to work together. There are also many devices such as through boxes available, which allow you to connect one synth to multiple other synths, and again, does away with the need for through ports on the synths themselves. Also, a soft through can offer some advantages that many people aren't aware of. As described earlier, when a soft through is enabled, it allows the out port to act as an out and a through at the same time. And this can enable some cool stuff, as you'll discover in a moment. So let's look at a practical example of how this works. In my setup, I have a Keystep Pro going from its MIDI out to the MIDI in on the Keystep 37. The Keystep 37 then goes from its MIDI out to the in on a merge box. However, although the Keystep 37 only has an out port, this is set as a soft through in its settings. The merge box then runs to the TR8S drum machine, which goes out to the through box and on to all the other synths. Again, although the TR8S only has a single MIDI out, this has been set to soft through in its utility menu. So what does this allow me to do? Well, this means the signals from my Keystep Pro and Keystep 37 can be passed through to all my other synths, allowing me to play any one of them using either of the Keysteps. But if I disable the soft through on either the TR8S drum machine or on the Keystep 37, the signal will terminate at those points and the piece of equipment above them will no longer work. Here I'm playing my MODX using the Keystep Pro and playing my Matrix Brute using the Keystep 37. But if I turn off the soft through, on the TR8S, like this. Now, neither of the key steps will play anything. And if I turn it back on, now the signal will pass through again and they'll be able to play the MODX and the Matrix Brute again, like this. And if I turn off the MIDI through on the Keystep 37, like this, then the Keystep Pro stops working, but the Keystep 37 still works. 
as the Key Step 37 is still sending its own signal to the TR-8S drum machine, but because I've turned the soft through off, it's no longer passing the Key Step Pro signal through to the drum machine and out to all the other synths. If both the TR-8S and the Key Step 37 only had soft through, none of this would work, as they wouldn't be able to pass on any signals that they receive, only send out their own. Also, if they did have dedicated through ports, this wouldn't work either, as they would only send on signals that they receive and not send on their own signals. So as you can see, there are some advantages to soft through. However, this is something that you don't really have any control over. The synth comes with whatever MIDI ports it comes with, and it can do soft through or not. But it can be a pretty cool feature if your synth has it. Oh, and you may be wondering why I have my Keystep Pro, Keystep 37 and TR-8S drum machine effectively aligned in a chain. And basically, this is down to MIDI clock, where I have my Keystep Pro acting as the master clock. And when I start that, it starts the Keystep Pro, which starts the drum machine, which starts the sequencers on all the other synths. And I've done a specific video on MIDI clock, which I'll leave a link to down below, which explains this in more detail. So the question now is, does your synth have soft through and how do you enable it? It might not be obvious at first glance, but checking your manuals under the MIDI section should give you all the info you need. For example, on my MODX8 Plus, I only have in and out ports, but if I go to the MIDI screen under utilities, you can see we have a switch here to turn MIDI through on or off. On my Roland TR-8S, again, with only in and out ports, if I go to utility and again go to the MIDI section of the menu, I will eventually get to a soft through option that can be turned on or off. For some gear like my Keystep 37, as we saw earlier, you have to go into the editor software that will have come with your keyboard. So you can see here in the Arturia MIDI control center, there's an option to turn the MIDI through on or off. And then finally, there will be some desktop synths or modules that don't have a screen that you can use to navigate to the MIDI through settings. If you've got one of these and it does have soft through available, then to get to it, there'll be an elaborate sequence of button presses, which will be shown in the manual. Well, that's about it for now. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, please don't forget to like, subscribe and ring that bell. And indeed, if you've got any questions, please post them in the comments down below and I will get back to everyone to see if I can help. Any other comments or feedback are, of course, highly appreciated. But for now, I've been Graham. Take care and catch you later.